Well, hello, how are you doing as I check our connection? A couple messages for the viewers, so pick a section. Have a YouTube, welcome back to another 978 Customs video. And right now we got Hydra Spider-Man 2099. If you are a loyal subscriber and one of the oldies, you would know that I've done this before. This is a commission piece. Someone wanted me to make them one, and I said, why not? I only made one in the past, so I figured if I tried again, maybe I'd make it way better than the first one. And for what it is, it is a lot better. But it's hard to really improve on that costume design. The only way you can improve if you're, if you're sculpting, and I didn't sculpt on either one of these. But I think the hand wraps are pretty decent enough painted where you can kind of get the illusion that there are wraps around his arms and so I'm happy with that overall. For those who are clueless about this character like I was the first time I seen him feel free to click this card and watch the previous video of the last custom and check out his bio there or you can just go to Google and Wikipedia yourself. The first time I seen his design I thought it looked really cool I wasn't even sure if it was Spider-Man or not I mean obviously Spider-Man costumes always resemble Spider-Man somewhere somehow so I knew it was Spider-Man but I just didn't know which version and it was hard for me to find out who it was but I definitely like it I think the green is what makes it look good to me there's not too many green costumes for Spider-Man so this is dope but if you want to make yourself an exile aka Hydra Spider-Man all you need is a pizza spider body and a Ant-Man belt actually it is not a pizza Spider-Man it is an electro body same body mold same buck but I chose Electro because he was already green on the lower legs, so it'd be a lot easier around the hips. That way, when you add green on top of the green mold, you have less chance of paint rub. And if it does rub, you'll barely see it. He also has some accessories. He has two hands that come from Bullseye, the knife as well, and the throwing knives. And the other hand is a piece of Spider-Man Thwip hand. And now for articulation purposes, this custom figure is not restricted. You'll be able to pretty much move it around like any Marvel Legends. The head swivels left, head swivels right. It does go up and down. And the shoulder joints also go up and down with no hindering. You see it's painted under the underarm, the armpit actually. And the butterfly joints also swing back and forth. So that way you'll be able to pose in any cool dynamic pose you like without any major rub. And if you get any rub, feel free to contact me, I'll fix it. Meanwhile, we got this arm rotation right here, the bicep, you get double jointed elbows, painted in the elbows as well. Both of them are a little different, so that they're not identical. This one has more of a flesh tone than the last one. And that's pretty much it, you guys know the rest. This belt, I suck because I cut it a while ago and I don't have another belt. And so, bro, I owe you another belt. I didn't even tell you. I'm gonna ship you a belt out as soon as I get one. So I feel like, pardon my French, don't say that guys. But yes, I do like the way it's painted. However, even though I didn't fix it, I was gonna add sculpt and the reason why I didn't is just, it wouldn't have made any sense. It would have, it would have kind of, I don't know if it would have broke off. To be honest, I don't know if it would have worked. But hey, look, the knees are painted. Woohoo! No, um, I do owe you a belt, so don't have no worries. And then for these accessories, you guys should be aware these are from Bullseye. I also have this hand with the knife, which is also from Bullseye. And I'm not sure if the Spider-Man carries these weapons, but it looks good enough to fit like it belongs on him, so I do like it. So for a more menacing look, add knives to your Spider-Man. Give him that assassin look. He does look cool. Oh, by the way, I did sculpt in between the eyes and I sanded down right where the nose is in case you guys are wondering. I forgot to mention that. YouTube, as always, if you like this video and you want to see more Spider-Man customs, feel free to like, comment down below. Let me know what you want to see next. Feel free to share this around and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.